Hey guys, it's Cynthia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys a few skincare mistakes that you might be making currently and how you can avoid them and basically what you can do instead. So the first skincare mistake is actually something I've definitely been guilty of and it's really just not extending your skincare down to your neck and decolletage area. It's super easy to neglect here just because we typically forget after doing everything to our face, but in reality we have to remember that our neck and chest are exposed typically to a lot of the same elements that our face is. So want to make sure that we're giving it the same kind of attention and treatment. And honestly, this doesn't have to be super difficult. All I do now is just extend my cleansing to my neck and afterwards and follow up with some moisturizers and also SPF if I'm going out during the day. So the next skincare mistake is actually just not using a silk pillowcase. And I know that sounds super bougie and a little bit extra, but silk actually has so many skin and hair benefits that it'll just make for a lot less friction, which will cause less frizzy hair and also will make sure you don't wake up with like the, I just slept real hard on one side of my face and like all the lines that come with that. And another added benefit of a silk pillowcase is that silk actually is very good at regulating temperature. So you probably won't find yourself overheating the way that you might have with a standard cotton pillowcase. And also, like I said, it's really good for your hair. And I've found that ever since I switched over to silk pillowcases, my hair is no longer as frizzy as it used to be, even though I know my hair still be looking kind of frizzy sometimes. <laughs> I know obviously silk will range a lot in terms of price and quality. However, I know there are actually a lot of good affordable options out there. The silk pillowcases that I actually use, I got as a set of two from Amazon and I got them for about 20 bucks, which I think is pretty affordable because that means it's only $10 a piece and they've held up really well and aren't too difficult to clean. So the next skincare mistake is actually just not using moisturizer. And moisturizer is something that should be essential in everyone's skincare routine, regardless of your skin type, whether it's super dry or super oily. There are a lot of different types of moisturizers out there. So if you're worried about becoming too oily, you can opt for something that's more of a lightweight gel and if you have more drier skin go for something that's like more of a rich cream you want to make sure that you're adding moisture back into your face after you cleanse it because when you wash your face you're stripping your skin of a lot of its natural oils and moisture and not following up with a moisturizer afterwards will make it more prone to sensitivity and just being more dry and irritated which will ultimately lead to probably some more acne and breakouts and like I said you definitely want to be moisturizing both morning and evening not just one or the other I say this because one time I confronted my boyfriend after I noticed that he never seemed to like put on moisturizer in the evening and I was just like what are you doing like that is a skin crime and he was saying like oh but my moisturizer says daily facial moisturizer and I'm just like oh my gosh so he really thought you only just put it on in the morning so don't be like him okay just put it on both morning and evening and your skin will thank you so the fourth skincare mistake is really just not practicing good hygiene and with that I mean just not washing your pillowcases your makeup sponges and brushes your phone and face towels basically anything that will make contact with your face frequently. As you can imagine, those surfaces can definitely pick up and harbor bacteria really easily and you don't want those touching your face because that can definitely lead into potentially more acne or breakouts. For my makeup sponges, I try and wash them right after I use it or at least once a week and that goes for my brushes as well. And as for pillowcases, I also try and switch that out each week. And as for my phone, I try and wipe that down as frequently as I can just because your phone is really what's with you pretty much all the time or at least it is for me. So you want to make sure that it'll be as clean as it can get. And finally, this last one might seem like a no-brainer, but it's really just not using SPF in your skincare routine. Sunscreen shouldn't be limited to only when it's summer or when it's like obviously sunny outside or if you're going to the beach because the UV rays are present constantly. And you just want to make sure that you're doing your job with protecting your skin because they by far do the most damage. If you're not really sure about what sunscreen to use, I made an entire video dedicated to my top sunscreen recommendations that I'll be linking down in the description box that you can check out. But yeah, wearing sunscreen is probably the best thing that you can do for your skin so you want to make sure that you're definitely including it into your routine. Alright guys, so those are the five skincare mistakes that I really hope that now we can all avoid. I hope it was helpful and that you're able to learn something from it and let me know down in the comments below which skincare mistake that you're guilty of. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're not subscribed already I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!